Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. See, I'm enjoying this wet Wednesday morning from Vancouver, British Columbia on the west coast of Canada. A lot of people compare our weather to Seattle, Washington or even, you know, jolly old England um, because it's always cloudy and rainy most of the year. Well, anyways, we've all developed gills here, so we're okay. Uh, anyways, to get back to the story, uh, dropped off the kids this morning to school and met with a gentleman who contacted me for my items I had on Craigslist for sale. And I had this uh, old transistor radio, um, I think it was like from 1968 or 69, uh, made by Sony. And it was pretty cool looking in good shape and still worked and uh you know i was selling it for 20 bucks and i got it for free from a you know sort of like a yard sale thing but you know everything on the table is free um so i meet with this gentleman who let's say um let's call him mr d and uh meet him in the parking lot of a coffee shop uh close to the school and you know he's in a blue pickup truck and he looks like a old cowboy and um, you know I showed him you know it works uh, and I you know I told him about the story that you know it, um, it was from a yard sale where you know the uh, family was clearing up uh, items in the house for their elderly father who just went into a nursing home and Mr. D says you know I don't really care about the story because I mainly care about the item I go, really? You know, I thought the story is the most important thing, you know, usually, you know, for collectors. And he said, well, actually, I'm just going to rip it up, you know, tear it apart. I go, really? I was thinking someone was uh, basically having this for decades, you know, in a safe place in their garage or in their house or something. Well, he goes, this is what I bought it for. And he turns on the radio and they're all AM stations. And he turns it on to a station that has no noise. Um, and he basically tells me he's going to turn it into a metal detector. And I thought about it, you know, a radio and a metal detector basically are oscillators. So, uh, yeah, um, you know, Mr. D was uh, into metal detecting and uh, he's really old school. He also uses, you know, doweling dowel, rods or I think that's what they're called I'm like those two metal sticks that sort of cross each other when there's something under the ground very simple um, yeah he um, he was gonna buy it and convert it into a metal detector and I asked him um, mr. D uh, wouldn't it be cheaper to go to electronic store and just you know buy the parts and he tells me well, probably, but uh, it's more fun doing it this way. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. So, you know, he gave me the $20 and uh, I thanked him and we parted ways. But I thought I'd just share you uh, this interesting transaction. Um, never knew, you know, people would turn radios into metal detectors. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.